Welcome to the webinar, everybody. My name is Carlos Scarpero. Today's broadcast is all about how to grow your email list from where it is to where you want to be. Those of you that don't know me, my name is Carlos Scarpero, aka Mr. Leeds. Uh, my business is also called Mr. Leeds. I'm an internet marketing consultant here in the Dayton, Ohio area. I've been a constant contact partner for about three years now. Um, I've done seminars on several topics. This photo here is actually a LinkedIn seminar I did um, uh, close to four years ago. And so I've been online quite a while. I've done lots and lots of seminars. I've actually uh, been doing online marketing off and on since 1999, believe it or not. Um, so I'm quite knowledgeable in several areas of internet marketing. And I'm especially excited to talk about email marketing today um, since that's something that we talk about a lot in Constant Contact. So for those of you who don't know, I'm an Constant Contact authorized local expert, which means I go out in the field and give presentations related to email and social media marketing. And so if you're here in the Dayton, Ohio region, I would love to meet with you sometime and say hello. But today we're going to talk a little bit about growing your email list. So let's get started. As always, the seminar today is part of the Be a Marketer series. All it takes is constant contact. And if you're not yet a constant contact customer, I would like to invite you to try it out for free. And so you can see for yourself how easy and effectively you can be a marketer. If you're a current Constant Contact customer or you're considering it, I would love to talk to you personally about that um, and would love to give you some tips and advice uh, to manage your account better. If you have any questions, I will have um, a form at the end of this webinar you can fill out um, and schedule an appointment with me. I would love to talk to you on the phone, get to know a little more about what you're up to and see how I can help you grow your business, whether it's through Constant Contact or anything else online marketing related. So let's get started. Marketing has changed. Marketing then, in other words, marketing back in the day, you know, 5, 10, 15 years ago was fine, convert, convert a little more, and keep. In other words, it was all about blasting. You know, you had TV, you had radio, phone book. You know, you'd spend thousands of dollars on an advertisement somewhere, and, you know, let's blast things out. Hope we convert a few of those people, and then finally hope we can keep a few of those people and then do it again. Because um, there was no Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, etc. Now it's the opposite. Fine, convert some more, convert some more of those, and then you keep them. In other words, you find a few, and then you go to Facebook, create a Facebook presence, go on LinkedIn, create a LinkedIn presence, go get an email list going, create that presence, and you convert and convert, and it's a snowball effect. And because think about it, I mean, most people have, I heard a statistic the other day, the average person has about 330 Facebook friends, same with Twitter, LinkedIn, et cetera. So if you can find a few and then they tell a few friends, those people tell a few friends and you convert a few more, now you've got a growing business and that's what it's all about. You know, so in a way we've gone full circle, you know, back in the day people would you know, talk over the fence to their neighbors and now it's, it's a digital fence through Facebook and those types of things. So what kind of results can you get with online marketing or email marketing specifically? You know, some things to think about that you want to get when you're marketing. Um, you want to get some quick clicks and downloads. You might want to get visits to your store or your office. You might want to get re appointments or reservations. You might want to get calls. Um, it's extremely important you track whatever you're doing and make sure that no matter what activities you're doing, whether it's through online activities or offline activities, do you have ways to track where everything's coming from and you know it's more than just saying oh I'm getting a download but how did that person find your website you know I have a whole seminar about um, your website and website tracking and understanding your statistics and you know if you want more information that, about that feel free to hit me up at the end of this webinar I can give you some information about that um, you know the same thing somebody comes to your store how did they get there how they find you what are you doing that's working? 
what are you doing that's not working? Are you spending your advertising dollars effectively? Those are some of the questions I love to talk about with people. And if you have any questions about those sorts of things, you know where to reach me, or I'll tell you later where to reach me. So today, like I said, we're talking about growing your email list, and so we'll start out with a glossary of terms. So your subscriber or email list is simply the collection of email addresses that you're putting into your constant contact account or whatever accounts you're using to store these. And you know, I highly recommend you use constant contact or at least some email or email service provider. And that doesn't mean using Gmail because you know there are all kind of um, rules regarding having an email list in terms of the Can't Spam Act, and you can get in a lot of trouble if you don't do it correctly. Um, so using constant contact makes it super easy to maintain an email list um, and keep people together. And so your contact is simply a person's email address. And then your campaign is an email marketing message or promotion. So what are you sending to your email list? Well, hopefully it's something valuable that they open and they, and then with constant contact you can track that and see what exactly is going on. Is that message working? What's not working? How can you change? And, and track your results. So really interesting statistics, 91% of people check their email daily. I bet if I did a survey today that of the people on this call, probably at least 90% of you checked your email today. It's just something you do every day. 82% sign up for email and brand websites. Who doesn't love a good deal? If it's a brand you like, why not get a coupon for it? And then 72% of people signing up, they expect to get a discount. You know. If you're not expecting a discount, you at least want some valuable content. It's either or, sometimes both. You know, that's why people join email lists. They don't join it because they want to get more email. It's because they want something of value, whether it's a, a discount, a coupon, or it's content. And But you also have to keep the money lost by continuing to provide value to you know, your prospective client. Really strong statistics from Salesforce, and it's been published numerous times. For every dollar spent on email marketing, an average return of 44.25 comes back. That's actually a little bit higher. The last one I heard was 42. Um, but it doesn't matter if it's 42 or 44. What does matter is that email marketing is one of the most cost-effective ways to get your message out there, and you know it works. If you work it, you know, if you have three people on your email list, then, you know, that's much harder to accomplish. But if you have a nice, robust email list of people that you're emailing consistently, the keyword being consistently, then definitely that 4425 return is certainly possible. Email marketing, three times higher conversion rate than social media because they want to be on your email list. And the other big thing about social media is I've seen a lot of people say, oh, I've got a Facebook page, I don't need anything else. But the problem with that is, you know, on Facebook, not everybody sees your posts. You know, they're saying that every every single time, you know, as more and more businesses get on Facebook, it's getting harder and harder to get noticed. And Facebook's starting to limit that much more. And, and so, yeah, you can get noticed on Facebook, but you ought to spend money for it. And so... Email marketing is still definitely a great way to promote your business. Now, I'm not saying don't use social media. I'm saying use them together. But email marketing is certainly one cornerstone of your marketing plan that should be there. Um, by the way, I do offer marketing plans to people. And if you want more information about how to create a marketing plan or what may create one for you, feel free to talk to me after this um, webinar today. So here's what we got on the agenda today. Start with what you got. Make what you have work for you. Collect more, more from everywhere, everywhere you are. And then you got an email address. What do you do with it? And then next steps for moving forward. So growing your email list sounds complicated, but it doesn't have to be if you understand what's going on. Remember this: growth takes time. It certainly does. You know, any kind of growth online, whether it's email or social media or SEO, traffic generation, takes time. It's an ongoing process. And you definitely must be organized and consistent. What is your message? What do you want your prospective customers to know? 
better question, who is your prospective customer? Do you know them? Do you know their wants, their desires, their dislikes? All those things need to be known. And if you don't know them, let me help you figure that out. So a combination of traditional and modern methods are most successful. And I've been talking about this past few webinars. If you've been on my webinars lately, I've been talking about this more and more, that this combination of offline and online marketing. You know, one of the ones I like to give as an example of this is Shark Tank. You know, Shark Tank people go on the TV show Shark Tank. They their business explodes with people coming into their business. But always on the Shark Tank, the first thing they ask them is, Do you have a website? Is your website up to date? Because you're gonna get traffic like crazy. They know it. And if they have an email list, they, they're going to grow it like crazy. If they have social media, they're going to grow it like crazy. And so if a business is on Shark Tank, the very first thing they should get before they're actually on the show is all their social media and their email marketing all up to par. And talk to your hosting company. Make sure you have a good hosting plan. Don't be cheap because the site's probably going to go down with all that traffic. And, and so if you can combine the two, oh my gosh, you're really rocking and rolling. And people that are really getting it these days understand that that combination is most successful. And if you have any questions about that, like I said, feel free to hit me up later. We can talk about that as well. So start right where you are. Your email, your social media, your website. I do free evaluations, and so let me know. I can help you evaluate all those things now. And then once you do that, you ask people to subscribe to your mailing list. And then offer incentives for them to join. What are you offering them? What do they want? Survey them. Call, you know, if some people on your list are people you already know, call them and ask them, what, what do you think about what I'm offering here? You know, everybody should have an advisor. And if you want me to be your advisor, I can do it. Or if you have someone that you're good friends with, ask them, what, what are people looking for? What, what are people trying to do? And it depends what kind of incentive you want to offer. You know, if you're a store, you might want to do a coupon. If you're more information-based, you know, some sort of report, um, your incentive should match what you're doing. So, for example, for me, you know, my incentives tend to be more information-based, um, you know, content, and then that's turning into... Um, appointments and that sort of thing. But if you're a store, you know, like this little store in this photo, you may have a coupon code for, you know, 25% off your next visit, a free, you know, buy one, get one free, get a muffin, whatever. But give them something to join your email list as a thank you. And so when you do that, then you locate, you collect your contacts. And so if you already have some contacts, you know, people came in your store maybe already, Locate them, collect them, upload them into Constant Contact and get rolling with it. And then organize them. You know, put them on different lists. We're going to talk about lists in a minute here. And then get them coming in to whatever you're doing, whether it's online or a physical location. So gather them up. Here's some ideas. Start with your database. Who's already on your database? Who are you contacting on a regular basis? How do you get business cards from? You know, I wouldn't just load them into Constant Contact. I would I'd maybe call some people up and say, hey, I've got this email list I'm starting up. Would you like to be a part of it? Here's what I'm offering you. Seek out networking opportunities. I'm part of a networking group here in the Dayton area. We have events a couple times a week. I'm always networking. Seek out partnerships. Ask friends and friends on Facebook to join. Look through your Facebook list. Look through your LinkedIn list and see who do I think would be a good prospect. Who's coming into your store now? Ask them. Establish an incentive to subscribe. Whatever that incentive should be. You know, ask your best customers. What What do you think? Yeah, you know, if you have friends that are really connected to you in your business, ask them, what, what do you think would be a good incentive? What gets you in? Because a lot of times we're so close to our businesses, we don't know what a good incentive is, unfortunately. You know, we, you know I heard an expression the other day, you can't see the bottle when you're in the bottle. In other words, you're so close to the business, you don't know always what the best incentive is. So ask your customers, what do they think the best incentive should be? You know, if you have a friend that you know has done business with you, that's a good person to ask. You know, a really close friend that's honest with you, 
And we all need that in business. We definitely do. Ask your best customers to join your email list. You know, I would say ask all your customers, but start with the best ones. And you know, if you have a retail shop, pretty easy. Put out a, you know, put out a notepad in front of your, in front of your cash register, and say, hey, we're starting this email list. You know, here's why you need to be on it. Would you like to join? Train your staff to ask them. You never know until you ask, right? So here we go. Cover all your bases. Organize your database in the list. Separate them out. Because not everybody has the same interests. Segment them by customer interests. Use ex external terms. So one person, you know, you know, like a shop. One, you know, one of the examples is a pet store. You might have one list for dog owners, one list for cat owners, for example. Create a sign-up form. Your sign-up form could be something on paper. It could be something on your website. Um, there are all kinds of tools out there to create forms for your website. Um, that's a whole different seminar. Uh, if you need help with all that stuff, if, if you need some advice on that stuff, let me know. Um, Constant Contact does have an embeddable sign-up form you can add to your website or blog. Um, it's right there in your Constant Contact account. Um, there's um, Sumo Me and some other things you can use. If you're a US-based customer, there's also a text to join. It's a nice little code you can set up. And basically what you do is you text, you send the um, person that wants to join your email list sends a text to that keyword. Um, and then they get a text back saying, what's your email address? And then it adds them to your email list. I think it's really good for like a coffee shop maybe where they're sitting in line or something like that, or you know, maybe a bookstore, book signing those types of things, or maybe they're standing in line, they have a cell phone handy, those types of things. QR codes is a code you can scan with your phone um, that goes to a website. Um, I've done this quite a bit at events, or you know, if you're a farmer's market or something, a place like that where people have their cell phone handy. Um, so definitely another way to do it. Facebook Join app. You know, Facebook has a really nice app you can use. It integrates brilliantly into Constant Contact. If you um, Go to my website, mr I actually have a whole video about it. And uh, real easy to use. Um, basically, you just go into Constant Contact, you set it up, you hit one button, it goes right into Facebook, and it sets it right up quick and easy to use. If you're an iPad or tablet user, there's also the iCapture app. And so that's really nice if you're in a storefront situation. You know, maybe you're doing like a trade show or something like that. Um, just have an iPad handy and do it right there on, on the iCapture. Um, or if you're a retail location, you, know, you might want to have maybe an iPad next to your cash register and you know, mention that to your customers that are coming through the line. Say, hey, by the way, we've got this email list. Um, go on this iPad, fill it out, and sign them up that way. And the nice thing about that is, you know, they're already, there's no data entry. The problem with doing it, you know, with a paper format is then you have to go grab the papers, put them in, and so iCapture makes it a lot easier with one less step. You know, it's, it's just done right there, right online, and they're right on, right on in there. So train your staff, it makes all the difference. We mentioned this a minute ago, at the point of sale, you know, at the cash register. Uh, I've seen statistics that say there's a very, very high percentage of um, people that will join your email list if you just simply ask them. Over the phone, taking a phone order, you know, great time to ask them as well. Use a sign-up leap in your link in your employee email signatures. You know, just you can set that up real easily in Gmail or Yahoo Mail. It says join my email list, click here, make you can even make a little button, makes it look good. And then use this the text to join app. We mentioned that a minute ago and have people memorize that. So text to join. Um, it's a real simple thing in the contact section. You choose your keyword and then edit the request message and then select which contact list it goes to. Thank you message, hit that complete setup button and then I'll give you the information right there. And boom, there it is. Print advertising is not dead, it just leads to the internet. We just mentioned that a minute ago with my example with the Shark Tank. You know, online and offline marketing you got to be doing it together. You know, it's no longer two separate worlds. So pen and paper, you know, have that pen and paper handy and show that to 
where, people wherever. You know, it's great in a retail location environment. If you do maybe speeches, trade shows, anywhere that people meet, you know, live events, anything like that. You know, just have a pen and paper handy, hand that clipboard around the room, and get them in there. And and whenever you do, it, just explain here's why you should be on my email list. Here's what you're going to get, um, and roll with it. So make what you have work for you. Segment and target your list. You know, people have different interests. So in this example, the first group might be your regular customers or donors. People that buy from you on an average basis, not superstars, but, you know, not people that never show up either. And then maybe that's when seasonal customers are supportive. People that support you every so often, not there all the time. You know, maybe certain times of year they're always around. And then you got VIPs, these are your superstars, the people that are buying from you all the time, spending lots and lots of money with you. Maybe you want them on special list. Maybe you got special coupons for them. And, you know, everybody's needs are different. You finally get the new people. So the reason segmentation and targeting are important is that these four lists could have different needs, different wants. Um, and so you can send out different messages based on the, who that person is. And some more ideas. So here's an example from a pet store. You got dog owners, cat owners, bird owners. So you don't want to send the cat, you know, promotion to the dog owner. You don't want the dog promotion to the cat owner. Yeah, you want them separated out, and so that way the promotion matches the message, and they're much more likely to respond to it. Because the number one people reason people unsubscribe is they see too much stuff that's irrelevant or doesn't provide value. And so if, if you email them less often, but with more relevant stuff, they're a lot more likely to open it and do whatever you want them to do. So here's an example from Bisque Imports. You know, they've got multiple lists here. And then sign up form. And so take the time to build your list and earn trust. Um, and the other thing to understand is the Can Spam Act. Um, there's a link right there, the FTC webpage. So basically the can spam act says you can't spam your customers, that you need permission um, from them before you um, add them to an email list. And the reason it's important is there's a federal law on the books regarding the can spam act that basically says you're a spammer, you can be fined, it can be quite expensive, um, and also constant conduct can be fined, it can be shut down and all sorts of Bad things can happen if there's spammers around. So Constant Contact luckily handles all that for you. Um, but you do need to be compliant. And, and they're checking. They will. They'll, they'll shut you down in a heartbeat if you're not not doing things correctly. And so some things to think about is you know, making sure you have permission, whether it's written or verbal. So don't go be scraping lists. Don't go be buying lists from the list broker. Um, because what happens is when you, when you buy a list like that, your open rates can be horrible. You can get a lot of complaints, and sure enough, pretty soon Constant Contact will call you up and say, hey, what's going on? And they'll shut you down quick. I've seen it happen. Pardon me for a second. So here's some examples of, of an email list. So the one guy wants personalized interest, generalized interests, project blogs. Project guides, the other guy wants free shipping, events announcements, the other guy wants offers and discounts, the other one wants guides. And so they have multiple lists. So you send one email for the free shipping crowd, one email for the discounts and offers crowd, one email for the generalized interest crowd. And they're getting what they want, which is what gets you the best results. So collect more wherever you are. Network wherever and whenever. Here's some ideas. Give and get cards. You know, go to trade shows. Attend meetup groups. And then load those immediately into your database. Go to score events or chamber of commerce events, or, or better yet, speak at those events. And then ask the people there, hey, would you like to join my email list? You know, put the, send the clipboard around the room at the end of an event if you're speaking at those types of things. Add new contacts to an automation series. You know, with Constant Contact, you have we have automation where basically you can send automated emails. You know, maybe you want to send an automated email for, you know, and basically an automated email is, is where you have a series of emails. We call them autoresponders, another industry term for that. 
and um, so maybe you want to have a series. And so I have a free series that I have on my my website. Um, basically, six tips for getting started with online marketing. And um, if you haven't seen that series, you will soon. It's an auto, auto autoresponder series. I created it once. I have people on my email list, and they get those emails from me in that, that series. Local events, you know, network, network, network. That's what business is all about. You know, I'm very heavily involved in networking here in the Dayton area, and uh, definitely a great way to meet people, get referral partners, and also grow your list. So clarify how to join your mailing list online. There's just a lot of different ways to join it, and whether it's a Facebook business page, Twitter page, Instagram, LinkedIn, websites, photo sites, Yellow Pages, Periscope, Pinterest, all those places, there's a spot, you know, you can say, here's who I am, here's what I do, at the very end of it, say, by the way, I have an email list, I have a free gift, if you join, here's what you get, go here to claim it, those types of things. If you need help with us, I know it's really overwhelming, there's a lot there, need help, Talk to me. We'll get you settled up. So ask wherever you are. You know, on your website, explain the benefits of subscribing and provide a sign-up form. Online listings include a sign-up URL in your in your about or menu page or wherever they allow it. On your Facebook page, install the sign-up form we just mentioned. Social media, create a fun post. You know, you can use images. There's all kinds of tools. Canva is a pretty good one. Um, with a request to subscribe, get my, join my email list, here's what you get. Instagram, include a sign-up URL in your profile bio. Pinterest, you know, Pinterest is all image-based. It create images with info. Um, I, I would probably do, if you're doing a download, create a, an image of the book, for example. Maybe you're doing a free report. Do like a, you know, click here to claim this kind of image and then link that to your sign-up form. Bio pages include the sign-up URL in your profile bios to gather the most interested subscribers. So collect it more from everywhere you are. You know, this one, they have the Join My Email List button on their website under Offers, and then they've got this really nice landing page that says subscribe to our email newsletter. You know, here's what you get from us. Here's why it's important. You know, here's our three main tips. When they hit the subscribe button, then um, this guy Mark sends out this email. It says, guess what? You're going to get a, a video series, um, 10 videos coming to you. Here's video number one, and it's automated. That's the beautiful thing, Mark. Whoever this guy, Mark Michalat, he did it one time, and he's good to go. You know, he's creates it once and has it working for him again and again and again. 24-7, and people in there getting on his list, and he's promoting his business. So here are some places you can you can use to create your email list. Events that I just mentioned that a minute ago. Speaking engagements. Oh, my gosh, I've done so much in speaking engagements. QR code. Menu, your table. If you're in a restaurant situation, great place to do it. You know, again, restaurants, this one's a good one. On the bill, show it to them. Get them to sign up. On paper distribution, if you have a flyer or something, great place to put QR codes. Fishbowl, that's another good one. Yeah, maybe have a drawing of some sort. Yeah, that's really good for trade shows or restaurants or gyms. You know, have, have some sort of giveaway. We're giving away a free whatever. And use that to collect business cards. But, but make sure with the fishbowl one, you make sure that you specify they're going to be on your email list, and so I'd be a little cautious on that one because you want to make sure they're they're joining it for the right reason. Um, especially trade shows, you know, people tend to throw business cards in fish bowls, not knowing what the heck it's going to, and then they end up on your list, but they're not getting quality prospects. So make sure that they do understand that when they join the contest, they're on your email list. Sidewalk signs. If you have a retail location, sidewalk signs are great. Small business Saturday. Yeah. Just ask. And always just ask, really. That's all you need to do. You know, take it one step at a time. And I know it's overwhelming, but so pick one of these and say, you know what, I'm going to set that up this week and just roll with it. So not sure what to offer as an incentive? 
a lot of things you can offer gift swag percentage off offer coupon codes ebooks guides videos free consultation on-site service and I'm sure you know if we were in person and brainstorm we'd come up with 10 more and if you need more help on think, thinking of that you know feel free to reach out to me we can talk about that so there's a few you can think of and you know it just really depends on what kind of business you have of what you're going to offer um, so take the time to figure that out and then roll with it so you got the email address now what think about this 79% of consumers said they like or follow brands for information about the company 89% of consumers turn to search engines to research products or services before before purchasing that's a really good one you know it's a really good point here from this little study that you know they're turning to search engines you know turning to Google researching things and you better be showing up on Google you know you better be in those top probably top page or second page you know and I do offer SEO services to help you rank and if you're not showing up they aren't gonna buy from you it's simple as that if you're not on their list they're not gonna buy from you it's pretty much common sense but uncommon practice you know so definitely have those in mind and that's one of the things I help with people is, is help them understand what their priorities are you know whether it's SEO or an email list and social and understand okay here's what you need to do first here's what you need to do second and certainly if you need help with that sort of thing let me know so here we go now you got it so here's um, Liberty Jane and she has um, you know a couple links you know so she has her um, this will be your welcome email. Thanks for joining our email list. Here's some free patterns I promised you. And then, oh yeah, by the way, come and visit our websites. Here's what you're going to get. And, oh yeah, by the way, we're on Facebook. We're on eBay. Please like us there. And follow us. And more importantly, buy from us. So, just do the thing you said you're going to do. Yeah, you know, whatever you offer, whatever your promise is, you know, make sure you fulfill it. Makes sense, you would think. Doesn't always happen, but and, and make the offer something that matches what what they want. You know, like I said, surveying is important. Understand what your customer needs and wants and desires are, and then create something, whether it's a discount or a ebook that matches that. So next steps have everything in its place create segmented lists have your collection max collection methods ready and functioning create and schedule welcome emails and then repeat so I am a solution provider with constant contact and but before I do this you know do we have any questions Any questions? All right, we'll move along. So I'm a solution provider constant contact, and so if you work with me, you'll get a dedicated customer support person to help you out. Um, I'm also a marketing person that can help re review your constant contact campaigns. And so if you're a current customer, I want to invite you to work with me. You know, I'll do a free campaign analysis of what you're doing. I'll also help you claim all the discounts you're entitled to. There's all kinds of discounts, you know, Chamber, SBDC, um, Score, etc. I can help you claim all that stuff. And so it's no additional charge. You know, all you got to do is send me an email. I'll let you know what you need to do to get started. It's real simple. You basically will send an email to corporate saying, hey, I'm working with Carlos. You know, I want to be under his partnership. And they do pay me a commission to, to help you out, you know, to give you customer support. Um, and so it's a great way to have some extra eyes and ears on the ground under, on your side. You know, I'm a marketer just like you um, that you know, can work with your business and, and help you um, improve your results with constant contact. I'm here for you. And so a few of the partner discount programs, we got United Way, we got the Chamber, SBDC. Um, 
a lot of little groups here and there, um, associations. There's so many associations, can't even list them all. Um, so, you know, let me know. Let me know what you're part of, and I can look it up. You know, find the resources to find out which partner program you would qualify for, and and you know, make sure you get the best price. You know, you know, if there's something out there you should get, I want to make sure you get it. So a little bit about me. So I'm an internet marketing consultant. In other words, a digital marketing consultant. So what I do is, you know, cut through the clutter of online marketing. There's so much out there. You know, we've got email marketing, we got social media, we got SEO, we got websites, we got optimization, we got, you know, just in the thing today, we had 20 different things that need to get done to really get your email list going. And my question to you is, are you going to do it? Do you have the time, resources, and staff to do it? Do you have a strategy in place of how you're going to do it? Do you know why? Do you, do you know why? That's a big one because a lot of people don't know why. And so I cut through that clutter. And so if you're a little bit overwhelmed, no, re no reason to worry. Just reach out to me, and um, I'll give that information just a sec. So you know, a lot of people are trying to DIY everything, and I don't know why. You know, people are trying to save a penny. Um, but, you know, save a penny, lose a dollar, you know, every, you know, a friend of mine once said to me, and I think this is really true, that whenever you're doing something, you're not doing something else. In other words, if you're trying to learn all this internet marketing stuff on your own, it, it's time you're spent, you're taking away from things that you're good at, you know, and my suggestion is why don't you have someone like me who's been doing this stuff for 17 years, take some of that off your plate, you know, and that way you can do what you really enjoy doing. And, and grow your business. And so, yeah, if you get this, some people are feeling like this, overwhelmed, stressed, saying, help, what do I do next? Yeah, let me give you that lifeline. Or some people I've, I've seen, oh, well, I'm going to hire an intern. Yeah, the 19-year-olds, they grew up on the Internet. They know what to do. They don't always know what to do. I mean, I've been doing this almost as long as they've been alive, kind of scary but true. Um, and they don't know what to do, you know, most often. So, you know, and so why are you putting all your eggs in that basket? Why not hire someone that knows what to do, how to do it, been doing it a long time, I've been around, here, there, and everywhere. So what I want to invite you to do is put this into action. Schedule a free 20-minute marketing consultation with me, no obligation. You know, we just get to know each other. And certainly, if there's ways I can help your business, um, whether it's free or paid or something you can do yourself, I'll be happy to help you. So here's my link right here at the bottom, mr slash consultation Just go to the web page. It creates this nice little online form, pops up my schedule, put in your name and email, and we'll talk. Thank you, everyone, for being on the call today. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned a lot. Um, everything is recorded. Um, there will be a video going out on YouTube later this afternoon, actually probably tomorrow. Um, I'll send out a follow-up email. Feel free to reach out to me. There's my website right there at the bottom. Have an excellent afternoon.